Good morning. It's Friday. More glorious orange skies. September 11th. Never forget. Never forget. And menu four. Blueberries and cream oatmeal. Breakfast of champions. No, it's not Wheaties with Bruce Jenner on the box from the 76 Olympics. It's something that will last longer. First thing in there, our uh, accessory kit. This one's got the crushed red pepper. I'm sure that's going to be tasty in that oatmeal. Some pilot bread, because everybody likes the crackers. Um, chocolate covered sunflower seeds. Tasty protein. The smoothie snack blend in the new container. Dried baby strawberries. Hmm. I knew they were strawberries. I just didn't know they were that young. A thing of strawberry jam. Everybody knows what this is. Some more of those uh, dark chocolate covered espresso beans. I wonder if you could uh, grind those up and uh, put them in some brownies. Hey, we got our, our snazzy mints. This one's got like a little mutant one in it. So I got five instead of four. It's a bonus. Strawberry protein shake. Milk. Because a lot of people, they like putting milk in their oatmeal, kind of like a breakfast cereal. I mean, it is, but it really doesn't need it, um, especially this one. The mixed berry drink with electrolytes. Because after, you know, a long, lonely night of night terrors and raccoon attacks, you need those electrolytes. A coffee pack. We need that this morning. The, too much exposure to the smoke yesterday. My eyes are freaking... Like, feel like they got sand in them. Um, our water tabs, water purification tablets. And our main. Blueberries and cream oatmeal. There's the instructions. Whole, ooh, look at see what the ingredients. Whole grain rolled oats. Sugar, flaxseed, dried blueberries, salt, natural and artificial colors and flavors. Wait. Doesn't say colors. It just says caramel color. Hmm. Yeah. It's a good till uh, 2030, people. That's a, that's a long time. I don't think anything else in here will last that long, except for maybe the coffee. But hey, that's another reason that you should buy yourself a couple of these. Put them in that closet. That food security closet so that uh, when old uh, Krampus comes around for Christmas, you can have some oatmeal for breakfast and tell him to get the heck out of your house. All right. That was everything in the box. Let's get us out onto our tray. So, yeah, these... Uh, Arctic field rations. There's enough stuff in there. J just as they come to um, make two meals out of easy. I mean, I, I I'm gonna have the the blueberry blueberries and cream oatmeal, the espresso beans, the protein shake, coffee, and the smoothie snack blend because I think you know fruit important thing to have. And the accessory pack. Because it's got um, C4 
some more sugar and a coffee in it. Um, but uh, with the the crackers and jam that's left, and uh, the two raspberry drinks, or not raspberry, blue or triple berry drinks, uh, the sunflower seeds, I already said that, uh, and the milk, you could have yourself an okay lunch of, you know, milk and crackers and and uh, nuts. Nuts! It's crazy! So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get a lot of this stuff set up, and then we'll try it out. So it says to uh, pour eight ounces of hot water into the bag and seal. Let's stand for eight minutes, sweeten to taste neat. Again, you're not going to have to add anything to this. All you're going to need is to find some way of getting water to a couple hundred degrees, and it's breakfast time. And they're in there. I see some blueberries in there. I see a lot of milk, too. Um, we'll see. I mean, it already looks 10, 15 times better than um, that uh, Colin Baker oatmeal. Yeah, I'm running real slow this morning because I just realized as I was uh, putting the water into the, the oatmeal that this whole thing is berry themed. Strawberry shake, triple berry drink. Smoothie snack blend, which has got berries in it, berry oatmeal, coffee beans, which are essentially the seeds of berries. <clears throat> Crazy. Genius. Um, go ahead and get our strawberry protein drink. Yeah, these, uh, these last two days really picked up. Yesterday, I got that giant box from Minotaur and pilot ration kit today uh, driving 28 miles to go to a movie theater walk-in one that's finally reopened I know you're thinking well what are you gonna go see um, well it's definitely not uh, Bill and Ted face the music because I don't think that's ever gonna be in the theater just a pay-per-view thing so I'm probably gonna go see the new mutants because I don't have any interest in seeing tenant I don't I mean I think it was a comic book or something like that but just doesn't uh, scream to me and uh, after uh, which was it uh, Spectre I won't ever watch a James Bond movie in the theater again. That thing was just terrible. Wonder Woman, 1984, desperately wants theaters to reopen because they're not going to make their money back if it doesn't. Piracy on uh, movies is a thing, people. Yeah, if you're uh, planning a trip to uh, California here in the next couple of weeks, um, you may not want to come. Well, the <laughs> drawing points of it are it's, it's, it's beautiful uh, forests and parks and beaches. Um, look, all our snazzy stuff in our coffee pack. Um... Despite all the beauty, I mean, it really is just a, it's, it's a total trip to uh, drive to Monterey and go to the mystery spot and see banana slugs and be, you have your senses totally uh, jacked up by this crooked house and then cruise on over to uh, Boardwalk for some carnival fun, some junk food little time on the sand, little body surfing, and then uh, cruise on down to Monterey and have yourself a lovely uh, seafood dinner. Go to that uh, beautiful aquarium with the um, eco brainwashing. 
I mean, it's a beautiful place and there's lots to see and do. Just need to tune out the stuff that you're not interested in. I know. You're rambling, dude, while you're making a cup of coffee. Just make the stuff and eat it. But yeah, if you're coming here for anything other than business, you probably should hold off because they just had a air quality alert on the the phone not the radio the phone and the AQ is supposed to be like 200 which means that you probably shouldn't go outside especially if you've got compromised breathing but yeah please bring your tourist dollars to California but only when it's safe all right we got our coffee we're still waiting a couple minutes on our oatmeal and we are creeping up on 11 minutes it's going to be a record Ooh, that's a tasty looking snack blend there and then we've got our go beans and apparently Oregon is also on fire. Hey, guess what? Guess what, people? The heat. The heat didn't get those. And I'm thinking that's because this stuff shipped quick. Well, relatively quick. And let's see. Our lone packet of sugar. All right, or it was almost done. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then we're gonna get eaten. I mean, with everything on fire, there is some positive news. News. Um, I'm safe, yay. Uh, I live in a city that spans roughly 20 miles in all directions, even up. No, I'm not. I'm kidding. I think our tallest building is like 20 stories. But it's surrounded by a a ribbon of um, asphalt and concrete um, in its freeway system. So, for a fire to get in here would be very difficult. And being that the governor. Uh, lives here uh, and the Capitol buildings here and the uh, seat of California's most excellent <laughs> government um, is here. They won't let it burn. They'll let us choke to death and they'll let peaceful protest. Nope. Stop. About the food. I'm going to stop right there. Our blueberries and cream oatmeal is almost done. We'll give our little strawberry uh, shake a little taste. Mm. Mm. It's got a very uh, strawberry quick taste to it. A little piece of pineapple. Smoothie snack blend. It gets better as it gets fresher. Our coffee. With uh, I think two thirds of our sweetened condensed milk, our one sugar, our creamer, two or three uh, deep rich coffees. Mm. Yeah, that's one of those things that uh, when you drink it, it instantly takes you back to the first time you had it. And I think the first time I actually had it, it was ice cold but ice cold coffee is not bad that's the thing now it used to be you had cold coffee 
burn the coffee shop down. Now you get cold coffee. Let's throw ice in it and squirt a caramel in your paying nine bucks. Woo! Mmm. Oh boy. Those espresso beans. Oh, I'm awake. <clears throat> um, and it says eight ounces of water. Again, my suggestion is that you uh, go with seven or six. It's got a little moisture in there. I'm going to get a bowl because I don't want to eat it out of that pouch. It's just too hot. So the uh, dark chocolate swirl cinnamon oatmeal. I think after you shake it up, that uh, it really uh, thickens it. I mean, this is pretty thick. I mean, look. It's got some viscosity to it. Oh, yeah. It's all out of there. Um... Uh, smells it smells like a blueberry muffin, and that's one of my favorite ways to have blueberries. Yeah, see, I was wrong. Maybe eight ounces if you like it. If you like it like that, like a wet cereal, eight. If you like it thicker and more pasty, a seven. Seven ounces. But hey, guess what? You, you're having breakfast. And that's saying a lot. Because I can see the flax seeds and I know why they're in there. Because they're good for you. There we go. Look at that. Uh, let's get it up there. Berries, flax seeds, milk, oatmeal. Again, that thing that says that you need to sweeten it to taste, unless you're an ant, you don't need to add anything. So, I'm pretty sure after that movie, I'm going to be a lot less uh, stressed, a lot less vocal about the current situation in California. Back to Eden. Foreign rations on Friday, opening stuff up on Monday, trying to squeeze whatever of these that I have in a, on other days. I mean, I just got like a box of Latvian ones. And I don't, I don't know where or how I'm going to fit them in. I mean. You saw yesterday's box. I got to eat at least one of those, each of them, so that if I want more, I can get them before the little picture on the um, Minotaur Trading Company website grays out and tells me it's sold out. Oh, yeah. They got some um, more menu four and six of the Krakens in. Menu four is the one with the uh, barbecue chicken. That one's pretty good. And that's a 24 with lots of sides and stuff. Yeah, so that's really good. You really taste the berries. It's not all sogged out. It's not, I mean, it's, it's not powder because when you usually get the instant oatmeal from Quaker, it's just essentially like ground up oatmeal that's been cooked four or five times. This, this is kind of like if you made it from the old fashioned oats and, um, a fistful of, a. Uh, 
dried blueberries. I'm hungry this morning, so I'm going to finish that off. And I'm going to let you go and have your breakfast. Maybe an ego. Maybe you're lucky enough to uh, live in a beautiful state like uh, Texas. Have yourself a giant steak. Eight or nine eggs. Five or six potatoes. Oh, that does sound good. You need to put that in a ration, Bob. Like a complete Texas breakfast. Not in retort pouches. Got to be freeze dried. Got to freeze dry the, the steak in its raw state so that you have to rehydrate it, then marinate it, then cook it. But that could be a gourmet breakfast number 13. You can get your beautiful Arctic field rations, coffee packs, as well as survival gear, other rations, the new uh, French toast with the cookies and creamed uh, whipped topping at um, mentartradingcompany.com. Right there. Right there. Get yourself a couple of these oatmeals. Eat one. They're good. I mean, they, they, they're not just for camping and hunting and backpacking and surviving the squirrel apocalypse. Therefore, everyday eating. I know I didn't sound too sure of the last one, but hey, I eat this stuff almost every day. Some days you got to actually stop and eat you know, a salad or, you know, uh, kale chips, quinoa, uh, was it, um, what are they called? They used to be called burritos. Now they're called, uh, what roll-ups, uh, flatbread sandwiches, something like that. All right. Stretch it out too long. You don't want to watch any more of me eating that oatmeal, even though it's really good. I've been Jacker Trades. Things are getting better. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. You may see another video from me. Like I said, I got boxes of stuff. Thank you, Bob. Again, visit my friends, Dub C, Sue, Canadian Trucker, Brian Outdoors. You can find uh, the links to their Things probably in the description, if not this description for the description for the French toast or the big box. Just check out the descriptions. Also, like, subscribe, feel free to comment. Uh, questions answered, requests fulfilled. Um, unless it's something crazy like, hey, Jack, I want to see you drink an entire gallon of bleach. I save those for the legal defense team. I've been Jack of Trades. Have a great weekend. I hope to.